गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वॉम वेलकम फ्रॉम मी गर्ल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू क्रिएट ए सिंपल वेब पेज एंड मेक ए सर्च फ्रॉम दैट पेज टू योर डेटा बेस एंड डिस्प्ले द सर्च रिजल्ट ऑन ऑन अदर वेब पेज सो गर्स इट्स रियली वेरी सिंपल यू डोंट नीड इवन अ बिट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज टू डू दिस आई एम शोइंग द प्रॉपर पेज यू कैन कस्टमाइज योर सर्च ओके सो लेट सी हाउ टू डू दैट for that purpose you need a software called uh, microsoft expression web 4 so just download it from microsoft site called microsoft expression web 4 install it on your machine on your system and uh, open it go to uh, uh, the site create a, create a, click on new site and uh, click on empty site just uh, do an okay once you do that it will create a blank site there after you have to create two pages first of all uh, go to file new and aspx uh, the first page or two pages uh, you have to get two pages first page page would be uh, for that purpose in which you have to uh, and there will be a box search box and a search button when you very enter the data uh, which you want to search and make a search okay so for that purpose i, I has i had just uh, open a blank uh, page and uh, save it by the name called as search.aspx okay s e a r ch or name it as a search and save it since i had opened aspx so by default it will be saved by in aspx okay search.aspx had been created now uh, the, we need to require a page as well to display the search result for, which will fetch data from the database so what do we need to do is that another i would another create a aspx page and uh, after that uh, we would uh, as well save it and uh, rename it as result suppose that uh, it is going to display the result okay so okay guys it's fine what so now save as well this page uh, it is saved so two pages are created this is the side view this is the first page this is the second page so what you need to do is that first is that you have to look up for your database so depending upon your requirement if you want to uh, use mysql database you can use as well if you want to use ms access database you can use uh, ms access as well so for the sake of simplicity here i am going to explain you with microsoft access database so just create one uh, data blank database or rename it whatever you wish i am willing to have uh, a database uh, to fetch contact uh, phone numbers office uh, email id and these all things so i am writing here the name is contacts okay and do a create Once you create it and uh, create, I have already created here, so it will go to your my documents and uh, it will create like this. Once you create it, I have already created. I just rename it the labels what you want to make search and what you want to display on the web page. Uh, fill some data on that. I have already filled it and do a save. Once you do that, uh, guys, after that, what you need to do is uh, just uh, go to go to file. once you go to file you go to import and click on file add file add your database file this is contact and do an okay okay so now the first thing go to now search.aspx page and here you have we have we need to add the search box click on asp uh, .net control from the toolbox click on standard and uh, once you click there you would uh, get an option there on that uh, text box drag click on drag and uh, drag it and place it over here click here and rename the box uh, uh, label i want uh, to search by last name so i click here in the id button uh, i will click here last name l a s t n a m e okay i uh, just want another button to make a search so from the standard uh, asp.net i will choose a button and drag it here again click on button and uh, in the appearance section uh, name the, the button uh, what you want to display since we are going to search we will be uh, right here that yes yes search on that button okay so it will search but uh, we also need to specify that once data is entered in this box and uh, someone click on the search where to go this page will be redirected to a page called uh, uh, results.asp so on the post back url you have to set here the post back url write the name of the uh, next page so that would be results.aspx r e s u l t s .aspx okay so 
uh, that's all uh, what we need to do that is that is save this page uh, that's it with this page now go to the result page uh, where we have to display the data click on the result page after that go to the standard ASP, uh, ASP controls after that go to the data okay uh, once you click on data uh, sorry once you click on data you would have a uh, called the grid view here just uh, drag it and drop it to your uh, design view and uh, choose your data source click on new data source since we are using access database so you use your access if you want to do the next browse for your database file and do the next once you do the next click on specify the columns from table view and in this reason uh, you have to select this would uh, you have to select whatever you want to display from the field okay so I want to display the company name last name I would make a search by, uh, by last name uh, uh, our first name email address job or business phone number I want to display on the page display page then somebody make a search by last name okay so click here now where uh, and a column that uh, I'm willing to search uh, by the last name so I click here last name go to the source and uh, click on source and uh, since this will be in the form of uh, a form so click here form and write here the exact name from which you want to search which you have uh, mentioned in your uh, access database as well as in that name uh, in that form so I have written here that LAST and a we don't miss uh, name it okay and click here on add and uh, we'll do an okay once you do that do the next and text query okay and finish it once you finish it just save the page okay and go to your side view it is ready to work click on the search page and preview in browser since i have multiple browsers installed here so it is showing like this once you click here you would uh, get your uh, results search page displayed here so let's see yeah it has been displayed in multiple browsers this is mozilla firefox okay it is, it is name is search here what, now write the name of whatever you want to search let's see the database uh, first name i have uh, this is pande here okay i am going to search by name pande this all parameters should be displayed so i would search by pande okay let's see p a n d e y and make a search yeah that's gone and the place is displayed now okay uh, go back again so make a search by your other name what would like to search uh, suppose as Patak, P A T H A K Patak, okay. Uh, what P P A T H A K Patak, and I will make a search. That's it, guys. Okay, isn't it easy? Don't need programming language, no. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I have not much to say. Uh, I have not much many more uh, video tutorials on web designing as well and hardware networking and many useful. Uh, technology tips on my youtube channel so kindly subscribe to my channel if you like my work guys if you have any confusion just comment in the comment box i like my videos and um, i would i would keep you in a waiting guys thanks a lot for watching i love you bye bye